Hi everyone, I am back with another empties video in my Shrink My Stash collection. Um, it's only been about two weeks since my last one, and my empties bucket is already completely full, which is super exciting. That means I'm going through things really quickly this month. Um, it is fall, and the weather finally started to cool off, and I love fall fragrances, so... Um, you know, I've just been going through a lot of product because I'm really loving the fragrances I'm using right now. I apologize for any background noise. We've got the kids watching a movie in the next room. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and film this real quick because I'm excited that my bucket is already full. So the very first thing I have here, um, and again, everything is Bath and Body Works, unless I say otherwise, as always. So this is the Aromatherapy Sensual Black Current Vanilla Body Wash and Foam Bath. And my boyfriend and I both used it as a body wash. I used it as a bubble bath a couple times. I really love this fragrance. I think it's really, I think it's sensual. I really enjoy it. It's just deep, um, warm fragrance. My boyfriend thinks it smells like an old lady. So he doesn't find it very sensual. Um, but I really like it. And he, he used it. He didn't love it. So, um, I probably will continue to repurchase this fragrance, but not very often because it, I feel like it'll just be me using it. And I don't really like to use fragrances my boyfriend doesn't like, so I'll, I'll repurchase it, but not often. And then I have a candle here. This is a Walmart candle. The brand is 719 Walnut Avenue and the fragrance Caramel Cinnamon Roll. Um, this one was mostly caramel. It just had a little hint of cinnamon and a little bit of that bakery note in the background. Um, oh, looks like I spilled some wax there. Um, sorry, distraction. It was, it burned really well. I mean, you can see there's a little wax residue, but no tunneling, no uh, soot, and it burned evenly all the way to the bottom. And then you can see, you know, one of the wicks burnt out first, but <clears throat> no burn problems at all. It wasn't very strong though. <clears throat> You could really only smell it within a few feet. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I had it here on the dining room table, and you could smell it at the table, but not very far away. It was okay. It wasn't one of my favorites, so I probably won't repurchase. Next, from Bath & Body Works, Iced Almond Chai, Three Wick. Show you the notes on the bottom if you want to read those. I really love this fragrance. Um, I love chai in almost anything. I would have been happier if the almond note was lighter. I'm not a big fan of that. But I still really like this candle, and I would repurchase it. It had a super, super strong throw, which I loved. The only complaint I have, it did soot quite a bit. And I usually don't have this problem with Bath & Body Works candles, but that's a lot of soot for them. But no tunneling, burned really well all the way down. Um... But especially having the two babies in the house, I'm really uncomfortable with sooty candles because I don't want them breathing that in. Um, so I like that candle. I have one more, I think, and we'll see, you know, how it does on soot. But this is a fragrance I would absolutely want to repurchase. I also have a three wick in pumpkin pie. There's the notes on the bottom for you. I really enjoyed this one. Um, this is the first year I've had it, and I think the first year it's been out. It's just a really great, true pumpkin pie scent. You can see there's a little wax residue on the sides, but no soot, no tunneling, burned perfectly. Really, really enjoyed this fragrance. You know, it is, it is a dead-on pumpkin pie scent. I don't like to eat pumpkin pie, but it smelled really, really good. I'm going to say that's Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin has been my favorite pumpkin scent um, for home fragrance and even body care in the fall, but that is a very close second. I will definitely repurchase that if it comes back out. And speaking of Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, we did finish off a deep cleansing hand soap. The notes are on the side there. I really enjoy this scent. I love it every year, um, and I will absolutely continue to repurchase it. It's a great scent. I feel like I've talked about it before. Some people are kind of put off by the name, especially for the body care, but go give it a try. Put it on your skin. It's an amazing fragrance. Another deep cleansing hand soap. This one is in Caramel Apple. This is a very old scent. I love it, though. It is, you get that fresh, sweet apple. You get the caramel. It's an amazing fragrance, and I will absolutely repurchase it. If they ever bring it back, I will, 
I will hoard it. I will stock up. It's an amazing fragrance. And then a Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Fragrance Mist I finished off. Again, I can't say enough about this. I absolutely love it. It's a great fragrance. I will continue to repurchase it. I did finish off a body cream in Dark Kiss. Um, this is an older fragrance that was discontinued and I think online only. And they brought it back to stores this fall. Just limited time. It'll be back online. This is a fragrance that every time I pull it out of my stash to use, I love it. Um, I'll show you the notes on the back here. It's a really great fragrance. Every time I pull it out, I love it. But then after I use it for about a week, I'm over it. Um, it's really heavy, really thick. And I don't know, after I use it for about a week, I'm just very done with it, ready to move on to another fragrance. I used up a lot of it this month and I still have some in my stash. And I can't really say if I would repurchase it or not because again, my opinion is so varied on it. I love it one day and a few days later, I'm over it, I'm done. I don't wanna use it anymore. So we'll see, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, I did also finish off the Dark Kiss Shimmer Spray. That is the first shimmer mist I have ever finished up. I have a lot of them because I wore them when I worked at Disney World in Florida. Wore them to work, wore them to the beach, wore them to the pool year round. Um, but I never finished one off because I had so many I was switching between. So again, I don't know about repurchasing the fragrance and I won't be repurchasing shimmer mists because I don't really use them anymore. I mean, I'm really too old for daily wear of shimmer product and there's just not that many occasions that call for it. All right, here is a medium candle in black teak wood. And the notes are on the bottom there. It'll focus. Maybe. Um, I had this one in our bathroom. It's just your typical cologne fragrance from Bath and Body Works. There we go. Um, what I loved about this one is that it had a very strong throw. I absolutely loved the throw on it. I would repurchase it, but a lot of their cologne scents are very interchangeable to me, especially for like my bath. That's like my go-to bathroom candle. They're all pretty interchangeable. So I would repurchase it, but I'd purchase the others as well. Um, but I have to say, I was very impressed with the throw on that one. And this is a very old one. It's a four ounce candle in spiced cider. And this is back when they still were under Slatkin and Co branding. Um, these did not have the fragrance notes on the bottom. It's just an apple cinnamon scent. I really like it. I haven't seen it come back in a few years, but it's really good. So I wish they would bring it back. I would definitely repurchase a three wick in it. Um, and both of these burned clean, no tunneling, no soot, burned all the way to the bottom. The throw on Spice Cider was a little lighter, but it was good enough for the bathroom. Finished off a deep cleansing hand soap in Pumpkin Cupcake. There are the notes on the side. Um, I like this fragrance. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of that pumpkin spice scent to it. I will probably keep repurchasing it, but it's it's not a favorite. I like it. I don't love it. Um, but it's one of those that when I like when I buy hand soaps, I purchase the ones I really love. And then if I need a couple more soaps, I grab a pumpkin cupcake because it's good. Everybody in the house seemed to like it. Another Dark Kiss product. This is a three ounce travel lotion. Um, you can see there's still lotion stuck to the sides. It is empty, um, but this is very, very old and the lotion was getting thick and kind of congealing. It was kind of gross. So I wanted to go ahead and use it up just to get it out of my stash. I think there's another one in here that I used up as well. This one, this is another lotion, full size, in Sparkling Blackberry Woods. And I'll show you the notes on the back here, but I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. Yeah that backing. Um, to be honest, I didn't care for it. To me, it kind of smelled like stale pie, like a berry pie that has just kind of sat out a little too long. Um, I know that's weird, but it did. Um, I'm umming a lot today, I apologize. Uh, we, there I go again. Pretty much the entire house got sick earlier this month, and it was kind of a a sinus thing, you know, coughing, sneezing, couldn't breathe, and I couldn't smell anything. So I went ahead and used up my sparkling blackberry woods. That way I was still moisturizing, but I didn't have to smell it because I didn't like it. So no, I would definitely not repurchase that.
finished off a Glade Wax Melt pack in Red Apple Bakery. This was just an apple cinnamon scent, uh, very similar to the Spice Cider. Smelled great in the package. I tried it in three different warmers and got practically no throw. And that, unfortunately, has been my experience with Glade. So, you know, I'll finish off what's in my stash, but I won't be repurchasing Glade wax melts or candles. I just don't have any luck with them. Finished off this daffodil spray from Crystal Waters. Got it at the dollar store. Just a very light, kind of sweet floral scent. Um, but it had no lasting power at all. I used it on our sheets before bed. You can only smell it for a minute or two. Wouldn't repurchase it. From Sensationals, I finished off a value pack in Zen. These are twice the normal size of these uh, wax melts that you get at Walmart. They usually have six cubes. These have 12. Um, really love it. This is a match for the Bath and Body Works Eucalyptus Spearmint. And again, we were sick. So I went through a lot of these like minty, eucalyptus, menthol, sinus clearing scents. Really good. I would absolutely repurchase that. On that same note from Better Homes and Gardens, Jolly Winter Snowman. This is another menthol sinus clearing scent. I love it. I will absolutely repurchase that one. I've been using it for years. I love it. Here is a large jar candle from Better Homes and Gardens in crisp fall leaves. I am in love with this fragrance. I stocked up last year and I stocked up this year when it came back. Unfortunately, I'm not having luck with the candles. That is a lot of soot. I'm very uncomfortable with candles that have that much soot, again, with the babies in the house. The wick moved all the way to the side here, which is dangerous, having that flame up against the glass. And then it self-extinguished with a good inch and a half of wax left at the bottom. Um, I don't have good luck with these large jars. And I usually have better luck with the medium jars, although that didn't really pan out this month, as you'll see. I love this fragrance. I will continue to purchase it in the wax melts. Probably won't be buying any more Better Homes and Gardens candles, unfortunately. I used to have really good luck with them, but this year, not so much. And here is the same fragrance in the medium candle. Again, horrible sooting. The wick moved all the way to the side, and there's still about a little under an inch of wax left. Um, so usually my medium candles I have a lot better luck with. Not true this time. It did have a better throw. The large jar had a very, very light throw. The medium candle had closer to a medium throw, but the wax melts in this have a super strong throw. It's amazing. Now I did have another medium jar candle of this fragrance um, that I'm counting as an empty. I went to light it this morning for the first time and shattered it. So I'm counting it as an empty. I did save the wax and break it into chunks. I have it going in three of my wax warmers now, and I'll use the rest um, throughout the rest of the week. But I'm going to go ahead and count it as an empty before I forget. So basically finished off two of those medium jars. From Sensationals, I finished off a wax melt in Country Blooms. A little out of season, but there was only one cube left, and I wanted to, you know, use it up and get it out. It was a kind of a floral meets laundry detergent scent. Not really my style. I just put it in the warmer in our entryway, kind of a fresh entry into the house. It wasn't awful, but I wouldn't repurchase it because it's not my kind of scent. Here's that other three ounce Dark Kiss lotion. Again, very thick, very old. Used it up just to get rid of it since it looked like it was going bad. Finished off a body cream in the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and I used that with the spray. I'll show you the notes on the back here. Again, I love this fragrance, absolutely will continue to repurchase. Finished a foaming hand soap in Black Cherry Merlot. Absolutely adore this fragrance. I love the soaps, the sanitizers, the hand creams. I even have a hand lotion um, in the pump bottle that is amazing. I've been waiting for years for the candle to come out. It came out this year, it was horrible. <laughs> Everybody loves Black Cherry Merlot, and everybody hated the Black Cherry Merlot candle. So try again Bath & Body Works. Um, but it is a really great scent. There are the notes on the side. I will continue to repurchase it. And if Bath & Body Works ever brings out a decent candle to match it, I will buy that as well. 
I finished off a little travel spray in Be Enchanted. This is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. Um, it was discontinued. It's now online only. I adore it. I will always continue to repurchase Be Enchanted. Um, one of the notes in it is sugared petals, and that is all I smell. That is a perfect description of what that fragrance is to me. I love it. Another all-time favorite, I finished this little mini travel lotion and butterfly flower. I just had it in my bag. Again, you can see it was old. Um, the lotion kind of sticking to the sides there. This is a two ounce, which means it was a preview from before butterfly flower was released. It's really, really, really old. Again, this is an online only scent that came back into stores this year for spring. It's online again now. It's amazing. I will always repurchase butterfly flower. Then this little travel shower gel in Kauai Lay Flower. I've mentioned before that I don't buy tropical scents. I don't like them. I gave this one a try because it was a floral and I didn't like anything else in the collection. I just wanted to try something out. Still didn't like it. Even though it was a floral, it was way too tropical for me. I gave it to my little sister who lives with me um, and let her finish it off because it just wasn't my thing. Tropical is much more her style than mine. Another pack of wax melts. These are from the Mainstays brand, Walmart brand. This had three different scents. You can see it had one bar in each scent. Black cherry, plum berry, wild berries, and cream. Normally I mix and match these kind of wax melts. That's what they're for. You can blend your own scents. But I didn't think any of these would blend well, so I did them separately. Wild berries and cream and plum berry had no throw. Black cherry had a good throw, but it smelled like cough syrup. I would not repurchase probably any Mainstays wax melts. I finished off two Yankee Candle Melts, one in North Pole, another minty scent when we were sick. Unfortunately, it had no throw. Um, and another in Red Apple Wreath. Again, no throw. Unfortunately, that is not a rare occurrence for Yankee anymore. I'm pretty much over Yankee. I love the North Pole fragrance. That one I really do like. I have the candles. I love it. It just doesn't have any throw anymore. And the red apple wreath, you know, take or leave. I never did smell it. Now for pocket backs, I have several here. Um, pumpkin caramel latte. My previous video, I had finished the candle and the soap and thought they were both way too sweet. I didn't have that problem with this one. This smelled really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, enough to repurchase it, I think, if it were to ever come out, you know, that same way. Not sweet like the soap and candle were. Finished off a fresh picked watermelon. This smelled like bubble gum to me. It was okay, um, but it was really kind of juvenile and not something I would be tempted to repurchase. Finished Frank and Kitty Candy Apple. I haven't seen this one this year, I don't think. Um, this is a great fragrance. I have one left that I'm currently using and then I'll be out of them, but I really like it. It's a um, like a green apple Jolly Rancher scent. Really good, would definitely repurchase. This one's way out of season. Um, this was a St. Patrick's Day release. It's called Love Pink Lemonade. I really enjoy the pink lemonade scent in a lot of their products. It was good. Um, I would repurchase it if it came back, probably under another name, but I would repurchase it. Winter Cranberry. To me, this smells the same as Frosted Cranberry. I really like cranberry scents, so I enjoyed it. I would repurchase it. And last pocket back, this is a very old Halloween one called Zombie Squad Marshmallow. I loved this. I went through this one so quickly. Um, it smelled really great. It was a vanilla marshmallow. And I was actually in stores today, and I saw they had a Christmas one called Marshmallow Mittens, which made me really excited. I was like, oh, cool. You know, this will be the same as the Zombie Squad that I just finished. It's not at all. It was really disappointing. I didn't buy any. Um, I was planning. I was like, I'll buy, six, you know, I'll buy do the five for six, I'll get all marshmallow. It wasn't near as good as this one. But if this exact one ever came back, I would purchase a ton of them. I would stock up. And then for wallflowers, we finished a pumpkin pie. Um, I bought this one after burning the candle because I loved it so much. It was okay. Um, the scent was still amazing, but it was very, very light, very weak. And then finished off limoncello pop tail. Had this one in our bathroom. I uh, had the pumpkin pie in the living room and just, eh. But this one was in the bathroom. It was really strong, 
And um, I like it. It has kind of a, a sweet lemon cleaner scent to it. But in the bathroom, I don't think that's a bad thing. Makes the bathroom smell clean. And finally, this one didn't have a tag, so I just wrote the name on the cap. This is Winter Garland. It's like an apple cinnamon meets merry mistletoe fragrance. A um, little early for it, but I needed something to put in my sister's bathroom, and this is what I grabbed. Um, she liked it. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. So, um, And I wouldn't repurchase any of those three because I'm really trying to just stop buying wallflowers at this point. I did pick up some Moonlight Path ones to use in the boys' nursery, but once they're out of diapers, no more wallflowers in there either. Um, I don't know. They're just not my thing anymore. I just don't have good luck with them. And then I have two more products here that are not technically empty. Um, and I never do this. I never, you've, you guys have seen my empties video. I never get rid of products that are not done. I use up my products, even if I don't really care for them. Then there was this. This is a very, very old four ounce candle in pizzeria. There are the notes on the bottom. Black pepper, basil, tomato sauce, and warm crusty dough. And they're not kidding, that's what this is. Uh, I bought it at a semi-annual sale years ago for like less than $2. It was like a dollar something. And I just bought it because like, what the hell? It's a pizza scented candle. I had to try it. And it didn't burn well, so I ended up cutting it up to use as wax melts and just never did. I mean, I've had this for probably three or four years. So I saw it sitting around. I was like, I need to use it up. I took a couple chunks out of it and put them in the warmers in like the kitchen in the main room of my house because where else would you have a pizza scent? No, it it shouldn't surprise me. It was awful. <laughs> um, it smelled, it, it reminded me of college in a bad way. It smelled like you got home one night, drunk, ordered a pizza, ate half of it, left the other half laying on the floor, and that's what it smells like the next morning. Old, stale pizza, not good. Um, my sister loves foodie scents. I don't know how she's going to feel about this one. I'm going to offer it to her because she has wax warmers in her section of the house. Um, and it's kind of down the hallway, so I don't really have to smell it. So I'm gonna offer this to her if she wants to use it. Otherwise, trash, done, empty. And finally, a Mainstays Vanilla Candle. This is a three wick. I lit it yesterday. I've had it for like a year. Th there's no wicks. Um, I light them and within five minutes they have self-extinguished, they drown. You can see it's burnt down a little ways. I tried the cotton ball method. I tried pouring wax out. Um, I out of it dry and then lit it. At one point I had almost a full inch of wick exposed because I had pulled so much wax out of it, lit them, and within 10 minutes they had self-extinguished. I'm done. This is like a three dollar candle. It's not worth the effort I've already put into it and it's not worth any more effort. It's a very light basic vanilla. There's nothing special about it at all. 